More on the extreme cold, which is our top story this morning, could break records, as Vanessa mentioned, but officials want to make sure that residents stay safe during this bitter stretch. CBS 2's Rena Roy is live with more on the story from the Upper West Side. Rena? Cindy and Andrea, good morning. Vanessa was not lying. It is absolutely freezing out here. I'm wearing several different layers, several sweaters, several pairs of pants, my gloves, my hat, and I can tell you it is still cold. And I want to show you the temperature reading right behind me. Uh, we are here on 73rd Street and Broadway. Uh, showing you the time right now, but there we go. It's 11 degrees. It's actually been as low as 9 degrees since we have been out here, but it feels a lot colder than that. As the snow turned to slush and the slush now turns to ice, New Yorkers are feeling the freeze. I've been working here for 10 years. 10 years, this has been the coldest weather I have ever seen. Whether you're driving around town. I think people should stay home because, look, I got stuck. This is my second time. Or simply walking down the sidewalk, it's not easy. The ice creating hazardous conditions. Yesterday afternoon, an 83-year-old woman slipped while crossing the street and was hit by a car in Queens. These dangerously low temperatures are cause for concern for emergency room physicians like Dr. Robert Gladder. Well, number one, it's exposure. Just being out in the cold, not wearing the proper clothing to begin with, uh, not covering skin, for example, in your face, your neck your fingers. Someone say is out uh, in the cold for as little as 15 to 20 minutes, they are at risk for hypothermia. Dr. Gladder says it's vital to look out for children. When you start to see their cheeks being red, that's an early sign that they could be at risk. Many parents even keeping their kids home in this Arctic blast. In New York City schools Friday, attendance was just over 53 percent. The day before the storm, it was 89 percent. Despite all the warnings, some families are trying to get by with a little fun. This is my first time I builded a snowman. This is new for me and, you know, I feel like a kid doing this. And that's the spirit, right? As long as you are being safe and if you can handle it, it does not hurt to have some fun in this freezing weather. And like Vanessa said, hopefully we only have a couple more days left in this deep freeze. We're live on the Upper West Side this morning. Rena Roy, CBS 2 News.